This is the south of France in a region called Le Provence. It is here that the Dutch artist Vincent van Gogh would forge a unique style that made him one of the leading artists of modern times. But how did he arrive at such a deeply personal form of art? And what was the source of his mental instability that would torment him during the last years of his life? My name is Jean-Pierre Isbats. I'm an art historian and, like Vincent, a son of Brabant in the south of Holland. I would like to take you on a journey, a journey of 15 episodes that will take us through Holland, Belgium and France as we try to unravel the mystery of Vincent's life and art. This series will take us from The Hague in the north of Holland to the towns of Etten and Nunen in Brabant, from the port of Antwerp in Belgium to Paris and Montmartre, the mecca of 19th century art. And from there to Arles in the heart of Provence, where we will reconstruct the yellow house that Vincent hoped would one day become his new studio of the South. And then we'll go to the asylum of Saint-Rémy, where he was admitted after he cut his ear, a place that amazingly still exists to this day. And finally, to the lovely village of Auvers-sur-Oise, just outside of Paris, where he spent the final months of his life. As we travel across Europe, we will be guided by Vincent himself in the form of his letters to his brother Theo. What will become of this, I don't know. But above all, I'd like to be less of a burden to you. As well as the letters and memoirs of fellow artists, his family, and friends. What characterizes his works as a whole is its excess of strength. At the same time, we will also meet with leading curators of collections of Vincent's art today. So please join me on a journey across Europe as we walk in the footsteps of Vincent van Gogh.